Hello guys, welcome to another Hypixel Skyblock video. It's Furball the Hemi here and today I'm going to tell you why you should get the Scorpion Foil. First and foremost, what does the Scorpion Foil have? As you can see here with my Max Scorpion Foil, it has 120 damage, 225 strength when included with the Wood Singularity you can put on it. And also on top of that, it also does 150% extra damage to spiders. Its item ability is the reason as to why I think that right, the Scorpion Foil is actually still worth crafting. Now, although the Scorpion Foil is unable to do like 100,000 damage and one hit towards, zom to towards zombies, with like the Reaper Felchion being able to do a 100,000 damage per hit, towards zombies, this scorpion foil is unable to do 100,000 damage every single hit towards spiders. And yes, that's why many people say it's not that good, but in reality, the scorpion foil is actually pretty strong. Reason being, it's the reason why I think it is relatively strong and still worth to get is due to its item ability, Heartstopper. Heartstopper states that you have 4 tickers. Blocking clears 1 tick and heals 60 health. Once all tickers are cleared, your next attack is empowered for 250% damage. Tickers refill after 5 seconds. So first and foremost, you may ask yourself, what the hell is a ticker? As you can see, looking at the bottom right hand side of my screen, beside my mana, you will see 4 yellow circles. Now those are the tickers mentioned in the item ability. So now you may ask, how do you activate these, these tickers? So the way to activate these tickers are just to block. So just hold right click and let a mob attack you once. So, so, so let's say you are fighting against a tier 4 Tarantula Brute Father. And then later you, and, and then later you want to activate this item ability, Heart Stopper. You right click to block with your sword and then you let the Tarantula Brute Father attack you. And once the Tarantula Father attack you, and then once the Tarantula Brute Father attacks you, you will then heal 60 health and then it will remove one ticker. So basically once you remove all four tickers, your next attack with the scorpion foil does plus 250% damage. And now you may ask, how strong can that be? Well let me tell you, when, com when, when combining the heart stopper ability with the octo dexterity ability which every fourth strike deals double damage. So if you are able to line up your hits properly, you are able to do over a hundred thousand damage in one hit when, when you activate its item ability Heartstopper with this full set bonus Octo Dexterity on the fourth strike. You can do over one hundred thousand damage towards spiders. Now I know what some of you may be asking, but isn't a 50 mil Midas still better in general? No. A 50 mil Midas is actually slightly worse than the Scorpion Foil. But that being said, if you do own a 50 million Midas, I will just recommend for you guys just, just to use the 50 million Midas and not to buy a Scorpion Foil. But if you are using, like for example, a Recluse Fang, like the previous Recluse Fang I had, like this Recluse Fang, if let's say you are using a Recluse Fang, a Pigment Sword, an Aspect of the Dragons, or even a Tactician Sword with Wood Singularity, I highly recommend for you guys to buy a Scorpion Foil. Reason being that if you intend to continue grinding Tarantula for the long term, be it for profits or be it for the, the ungodly chance that you will ever get a Digested Mosquito, you will want this Scorpion Foil. Because the Scorpion Foil does a lot more damage as compared to the Aspect of the Dragons and other weapons. So as you can see here, I only do 35k per hit, right? So it doesn't seem that amazing. So yeah, and oh my god, okay. So, ah uh, my god, why are you taking my boss? Uh, I can't showcase it, no. Mm, not exactly why I need it, guys. I'll be right back with the boss once again. Okay guys, the boss is back here again and as you can see on the first hit, I only do 37k. 
So now with this, so yeah, as you can see, one hit, two hits, three hits. Now block, block all four tickers. And as you can see, the tickers going down, whack it, and I do 100k. It is possible to do 100k, and in fact, I don't even have strength or critical potions or even spirit potions. I am fully clean without potion effects. So yeah, and, and, and even my tarantula armor, like only half of it is godly and half of it is wise. And I'm able to do 100k damage with that attack. Now, now you, now you may be wondering, why would I want to hold right click in the middle of a boss battle for no good reason? So, the reason as to why you don't want to just hold right click in the battle is because number one, it's more effective to just left click the boss and just and just spam attack it with your left click button. But today, I will tell you how to actually make use of the scorpion foil beyond for just its plus 150% extra damage to spiders. I will show you how to make use of its item ability. In fact, its item ability is better than just for... 60 health of healing, which let's be honest itself is also not very good. And right now, after showing you its maximum potential of damage, I will show you how to make use of its ability. So yeah, be right back with another boss and I'll show you guys the tips and tricks on how to use the scorpion foil. <laughs> So yeah guys, the boss is here again, and now I'll show you the trick. It's just spam right click, just spam block hitting, just keep spamming your left and right click consistently, and as you can see, the tickers in my right hand side are still going down, even though I'm still attacking the boss. And as you can see, it allows you to kill the boss a lot faster. Now, I know I'm doing a tier 3 boss, so it doesn't seem as much faster as compared to like doing a tier 4 boss, because tier 4 boss has a lot more health, and with that, and with that, you can get this item ability of Heartstopper out usually more than 3 to 4 times. Whereas, whereas with only a tier 3 boss, with the block hitting method, you, you can only generally get the item ability of Heartstopper out 1 to 2 times before killing the boss. So it doesn't seem very apparent to be that good on a tier 3 boss. But I will show you right now how much more extra damage it does as compared to a Reaper Scythe. So yeah, I know the Reaper Scythe isn't best known for its damage, but the, I, I have a max Reaper Scythe with Sharpness 6 and Critical 6, and Giant Killer 6 as well as well as with the other enchants. So I'll show you how well this Scorpion Foil actually does compared to my Reaper Scythe. So yeah, I know you guys will say, oh, but then the Reaper Scythe doesn't have a lot of base damage. And I know that, but then right now, my friends, I mean my co-op members, have taken my aspect of the dragons as well as my pigment sword so i can't really showcase it with with comparison to those two swords so first against this voracious spider with this i do 27,924 with with the reaper scythe and now with the scorpion foil i do 35,640 damage so yeah even against an aspect of the dragons and the pigment sword your scorpion foil will still be doing around 5,000 more damage than your pigment sword and your aspect of the dragons. So yeah, it is very worth it to craft it, especially if you are currently using an aspect of the dragons, a pigment sword, a recluse fang, or even a tactician sword with wood singularity. However, it might not be. However, it might not be the the best choice to upgrade your weapon from um a 50 mil Midas. To, to this scorpion foil. Reason being, although the scorpion foil can do more base damage towards spiders than the 50 mil Midas, it only does around 1 to 2,000 more damage. It's, it doesn't make that big of a difference. Yes I, yes, I know the block hitting attack does matter, and it does play a significant role, especially if you're grinding tier 4s, but, but, there is a, but it's just not worth paying five to eight million coins just to get a sword that only does one to two thousand more damage towards spiders only as compared to your main 50 million minor sword and on top of that if you are too lazy to buy the wood singularity as honestly no one wants to write and no one wants to left click literally 20 stacks of enchanted wood which is i think honestly it's really stupid how hypixel doesn't want us to buy enchanted materials 
um yeah so if you don't want to buy so if you don't want to buy the item yourself and to craft it by yourself with like the wood singularity which is a pain to actually buy it by yourself by the way it is an actual physical pain to buy the wood singularity by your own hands so if you don't want to do that it's very simple just go to the auction house and just buy the scorpion foil the reason why I say it's actually quite reasonable to go to the auction house and buy the scorpion foil was because I got this spicy thick scorpion foil with five hot potato books with the wood singularity with all of these enchants for only five million coins. So I had to top up another five hot potato books myself to max out the scorpion foil, but it was only five hot potato books off from being a fully maxed scorpion foil. And for 5 million coins, it's actually kind of worth it. Reason being, because the reason why 5 million coins is relatively fine is because the scorpion foil itself costs quite a bit. As you can see here, it's crafted with literally 24 tarantula silk, which, which is basically around 2.6 mil to 2.8 mil. When combined with the two enchanted stacks of when combined with the two enchanted stacks of acacia wood, the base cost of crafting a scorpion foil will be around 3.2 million coins. And on top of that, the wood singularity itself costs around 2 to 3 million coins, making actually crafting the scorpion foil by yourself, by your own hands, more than 5 mil. And the reason as to why the prices in the auction house for the scorpion foil are relatively low, and I'll show you right now as I go back to the hub. I will show that people are actually paying relatively low prices for the scorpion foil. The reason as to why it is so is because everyone has been saying that the scorpion foil sucks. Yes, I know that the scorpion foil is garbage towards spiders when compared to the ability of the reaper falchion damage capabilities towards zombies. I can tell why people will say it sucks, but it is by no means a bad weapon. And for 5 million coins, it's actually relatively quite a... It, and it is quite a cheap weapon for something that does more damage than a 50 mil Midas towards spiders. So I'll show you right now how cheap it actually is in general. Okay, give me a second. I need to make my GUI a bit smaller so you guys can see whether it has a wood singularity. Scorpion, as you can see here, scorpion foil. As you can see, that's ending soon. It's going for 5 million coins. I, I know this is sharpness 5, but you can overwrite this with um, the Bane of Arthropod 6 book. And yeah, it has 7 Anvil user, so it's not that good. But yeah, it shows how cheap some of these things can be. And yeah, let's take a look at this. Yeah, it's 6.9 million coins. Though. But this one is properly enchanted and only has 3 Anvil users. So yeah, it ranges between 5 to 8 million coins. The highest I've seen a Max Scorpion foil go with full HPBs is around 8 million coins but that's the highest the average is usually around the average is usually only around 5 million coins if it's weekly enchanted with a lot of envio users that's around 5 million coins like for me i got my 5 envio users so it's not too bad and then it only had half and then it only had 5 hot potato books so i was thinking like actually it's actually not that bad well 5 envio users and just 5 hot potato books considering it will cost me more than 5 million coins just to craft the sword alone without enchants. So yeah, I would recommend you guys to buy the Scorpion Fall if you guys are still if, if you guys intend to continue grinding Tarantula Brute Fathers, be it for profits or be it for like um getting the digested mosquito, which is very unlikely by the way, it's only a 0.05% chance. <laughs> Good luck if you're grinding for that. But yeah, if you guys want to grind Tarantula Brute Fathers in the long run, once you hit Tarantula Slayer 4 I, hi I highly recommend for you guys to buy the Scorpion Foil because I think that the Scorpion Foil is underrated right now and right now you can buy it for cheaper than what it actually costs. So if you guys are watching this video, go down to the auction house right now and buy those Scorpion Foils. And with that, I still think it is worth to buy the Scorpion Foil because one, it's cheap. Two, it's still very good against spiders. And three, its item ability makes it even better against spiders. It, it helps increase the reasons as to why I think it's better. So yeah, if you guys are watching this video, come down to the auction house and go and buy that your and, and go and buy your own scorpion foil. And with that, thank you for watching my video on my review on the scorpion foil. And with that, I hope you guys have a nice 2020.
See ya. Furball the Hemi, signing out.